Hi, so I have this particular problem from Sipser, which I think is pretty cool, which is we're going to have a set called Sigma 3, which is a set that happens to have eight things in it. And we're going to represent that by 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, etc. These really are just characters, but we're going to think of them in a slightly different way. But they really just are characters. And this language B is going to be all the strings over this particular alphabet, such that the top row equals the sum of the two bottom rows. So let's just think of what this means. So if we put a whole bunch of these next to each other, then we're going to have a certain string representing the top row and something, and that has to be the sum of the two bottom rows. So let's think of something. Let's think of, say, 2 plus 3. So that is, uh, for 2 plus 3, that's obviously equal to 5. So if we encode that, that's going to be 101 in binary. And because each of these includes something from the top row, middle, and bottom row, uh, let's extend these so they are three digits, uh, three bits also. So the 2 is 0, 1, 0, and then the 3 is 0, 1, 1. So if we encode this in the, in the alphabet that we got there, so this guy is going to represent the top row. So that's the top row. And these two are the bottom rows. So what we're going to have is we're going to have three of these objects. So one, two, three. And we can put these in any order as long as um, each of these corresponds to a row. Notice that I put the 101 like this um, because it's the top rows being the sum with the bottom two. So if we put them in, let's say, uh, let's do the 0, 1, 0 as the middle row. So that's 0, 1, 0. And then 0, 1, 1. Let's change that to pink. So that'd be 0, 1, 1. So indeed, uh, because of this, the two bottom rows add up to be the top row. And so this particular string, which we're going to call w, so that's an example string that's in b, because the sum of the things at the top are, the, are equal to the things on the bottom. So uh, what we need to show is that this thing is regular, which means that there's a DFA for it. Um, the problem with this is that in order to really add these up, so let's actually try to add these up and see what the problem is. So if we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, if we go through the grade school addition, what we do is we start at the rightmost bit and then we add it up. So we get a 1 there. Uh, there's no carry. So the, the two ones add to a 0 and have a carry. So there's a carry there. Then two zeros and a one add up to be one. So the problem with this is that DFAs work from left to right, whereas the real addition works from right to left. And that seems like a problem. But the hint that's given in the problem is that let's talk about B reversed. So this is the reverse of all of the strings in here. So if we took uh, W and, and reversed it, so that would be... So let, let's copy this down, copy, paste. So if we wanted to reverse this, what we would do is we would move this guy first and then this guy last. So it's slightly different now. So the only real difference that we can see here is that this is a one, the pink is a one right now and was a zero before. This was a one before and uh, is a zero now. So it is uh, different. It not, might not necessarily be different, but um, this is the reverse of the string. And notice now, if we go through the bottom two rows and then do quote unquote the addition, then we can actually work left to right now. And one result that we have uh, proven on the channel several times at this point is that regular languages are closed under reversal. So this, the, the language corresponding to reversing all the strings is regular if and only if the original guy was regular. And that's pretty easy to see. So let's think about how do we actually uh, carry this out right now. 
So uh, what are the possibilities here? So what we want to have is we want to design a DFA for the reversal, which is going to accept um, strings with these different types of characters on them. And what we want to do is we want to um, have a final state that corresponds to the addition uh, being, uh, being correct. So, so let's see. So remember that the top row is the sum of the, the previous rows. So let's see. So let's, let's suppose that we had um, the only character in the string was, oops, wrong order, was this one. This is the only thing in the string. So this is saying that 0 plus 0 equals 1, which is obviously false, right? So if this was the only character in here, no matter what we uh, see after this, uh, because there's no carry here, there's no carry that came over, um, then uh, this, this should not ever accept for any characters that appear after this, even if this is the only one or if this is the first one with no carry or something like that then anything after the fact is not going to help it uh, be a correct addition. So what we can see here is that if we see something like this where there's no carry, then we should not uh, ever accept. But if we do see a carry, then um, if we see something like this, then because of these zeros here, the one is going to say, oh, now th this is a, at this point a correct addition and no carry. So effectively, we can do this in three states, believe it or not. So let's carry that out. So we need three states, which is uh, either there is no carry, there is a carry, and we should never accept it after this point. So uh, I'm going to have um, a state here called no carry and C. I'm going to have a state here called C for carry and a state over here, which is D. Well, we should never accept after this state. So this one's going to loop a self loop on all characters, obviously. Um, the no carry state should be the accept state, because if we have a carry, then we shouldn't be accepting at that point because the addition wasn't done correctly at this point. But if there's no carry and we stop there, then we and assuming that we uh, did the addition correctly, then, then we're all good. So what are the possible things? Well, if we think about the alphabet, we have three zeros uh, as an example. So let's think about three zeros. Well, if we have three zeros here in the no carry one, then we still have no carry and it's a correct valid um, uh, string so far. So this one's going to self loop on uh, three zeros. It's also going to self-loop on three ones, too. Because if there's no carry, oh, 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 oh my god, I'm a dummy. It's not, it's not one, oh, it's not two ones. If there's exactly one one in the bottom rows, then we should uh, just stay here. Because it's a correct valid um, um, addition so far. And if we have one, one, zero, also we stay there for the same reason, because the two bottom rows don't matter in terms of their order at all. If we had one, one, one with no carry, then that meant that we had no carry one plus one, and we are saying that that is equal to one, and that's not obviously correct. So on triple ones, we're going to go over to here onto the reject state. So triple ones are going to go there. Uh, what if we had 0, 0, 1 with no carry? So if there's no carry, that's saying that 0 plus 1 is equal to 0, which is obviously not true. Uh, so then we're going to have 0, 0, 1 there. And for the same reason, we're going to have 0, 1, 0. So let's see. Um, if we had 0, 1, 1, then that says that um, we had no carry before. We added 1 and 1. So that's going to result in zero, but with a carry. So we're going to come down here on uh, zero, one, one. So let's see. So we got three zeros, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. We didn't do one, zero, zero, but that's going to be the one that goes to the dead state because if we had one, zero, zero, 
like like <laughs> here, then this is if we had no carry, then this is not valid at all. So we're gonna have uh, one uh, zero zero go there. Let's move this over a little bit. Oops, didn't get it all. So let's move that over a little bit. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, because we had no carry before. And, and this is the only way that we even get a carry if we had no carry before. Um, so if we have a carry, let's think. Well, the, if we had zero, 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 and and we did have a carry, then that's not valid because it's saying zero plus zero plus one because of the carry is equal to zero, which is not true. So three zeros are gonna go there. So we're gonna make some room. So what about zero, zero, one? So if we had zero, zero, one with a carry, then that is valid, but we also have a carry. So if we had zero, zero, one or zero, one, zero, then we're gonna have a carry if we had one to start with. So this is gonna be zero, one, zero and zero, one, oh, yep, zero, zero, one. It spaced out for a sec. Uh, zero, one, one, let's say with the carry. So if we had one, one, that's gonna result in a carry, but we already had a carry, and we're saying that that's equal to uh, zero, which is not true. So this is gonna have uh, zero, one, one. The only way that this could be valid is if the top guy was a one, which it isn't. If we had one, zero, zero, then, and we had a carry that is valid and we have no carry uh, at that point. So therefore uh, we should go back to the NC state. So if we had one, zero, zero like that. If we had one, zero, one, then what's gonna happen is we're going to, we're gonna have the carry, which is gonna have the one plus the zero, one equal a zero, but we're saying that that's equal to a one, which is not true. So the one, zero, one's gonna go there as well as one, one, zero for the same reason. And what about triple ones? So if we had triple ones, the bottom two are gonna add up to zero. The carry is gonna result in a, uh, we're gonna have a carry, but the carry we had before is gonna result in the one upstairs. So this is going to self loop on triple ones. And this is exactly what we should get because we have the same number of transitions from the carry going to the dead and from the carry going to the dead. So, as well as the self loops and the ones that go in between because the alphabet is completely um, symmetric in terms of the carry and no carry. So we sh this is pleasing to see. All right, so this is a DFA for, um, for the reversal. So now what we need to do is to convert this to a DFA for the, the original language. This is the reverse one. So the way to do that is we need to do the basic construction for, um, for reversing. So, so how does that work? So what we do is we're going to make, we're gonna reverse all of the arrow uh, directions. So the arrow's gonna point that way. The self loops aren't gonna change, <laughs> they don't change directions. This one is going to point down, That the left one's gonna point up, I'm gonna point down. And then, let's, so let's see. So we, the standard construction says uh, have a start state that goes to the um, original, uh, has an epsilon transition to all of the previously final states. Um, and the start state is going to be the only final state. But the amazing thing is that the only final state here was the start state. So in fact, this is a DFA. Oh, I didn't change this direction. I need to change that direction. Yeah, so uh, what what we need to do is, yeah. So, so what we need to do is we have a machine here now. So now this uh, D state is completely useless because there's nothing pointing at it. But 
now we have these missing transitions here. So effectively, um, whenever we see these in these states, we're effectively going to a dead state, a different dead state here. So this is going to be, I'm going to call it D prime, and then effectively we're going to reverse the directions back. This is purely because that we know that these transitions are not defined in the original DFA if we eliminated that state because we reversed the transitions for the reversal. Um, so then we need to go to a dead state when we convert the NFA back to a DFA. And effectively, we're going to go to a dead state, so I, I might as well just reuse the dead state that we had before. But effectively, all that we needed to do was to flip-flop these two uh, arrows. That's effectively the only thing that changed here, which is pretty dang cool. So this is a DFA for binary addition of uh, two numbers equaling another number. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about binary numbers and this DFA into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.